everyone, Manga Meeks here with a brief update video. Um, the game in the background is Guild Wars 2, uh, the beta. Uh, mostly this is me just getting into grips with things. Um, I found the game quite hard to get into, but now I've got into it, I'm really enjoying it. And uh, this beta has been a vast improvement for me, at least uh, on the previous one. Um, and yeah, I'm just really happy with how uh, things have gone. Um, it's been really fun. I've been playing it quite a bit this weekend. So here is just um, footage of me playing the game. Just as an idea, uh, this is the human star area and some of the human city. You'll see me fight some bandits and shit and uh, fight with other people and stuff. And um, yeah, it's uh, it's really good. And I'm looking forward to the actual game coming out. So enjoy the footage in the background. Um, the main reason for this video, first of all, is to thank you for the 1 million channel of years. It's only taken 8 months, which I think it took me nearly 2 years for my old channel, so I'm really happy with a million channel of years within 8 months. So, um, thank you all for, um, for subscribing and viewing and liking and commenting and all that kind of stuff. Um, Silent Hill in particular has been a massive hit and I hope you guys enjoy the fact that I'm going to be doing Silent Hill 3, um, the PC version next. I, at least I think I will be. Assuming there isn't some total fucking disaster with how it runs. It seems to run okay and I've been like patching it and modifying it a bit so um, hopefully it will run fine but uh, you know that's what my next LP is going to be short of any serious disasters. Um, uh, what else was I going to say? Um, in terms of uh, other upcoming games I'm a little torn at the moment on what I want to do after Dark Messiah finishes. Redemption's going to be going on for a fucking long time. Like, I reckon it'll be like 40 parts at the very least. So, um, I'd say that, um, but Dark Messiah is already getting near the end. So, I've got to find something to replace that. And, um, I'm going to open it up for some suggestions. Obviously, I might not have the game, but, um, PC suggestions, please, because I'm not going to play any console games at the moment. It's far too much hassle to edit and stuff like that and just sync up commentary and all that kind of stuff so I'm gonna go for PC games only um, and just knock yourself out any genre anything you like um, just uh, shout some games out in the comments and um, I'll see what I think thus far um, what else did I want to address um, god what did I, there was something I wanted to address and I can't remember what the fuck it was I'm so rubbish at these videos. I start making them and I'm like, oh yeah, I've got lots to say. Lots to say. Michelle has lots and lots and lots to say. And um, usually it's a disaster. Um, in case some of you haven't seen, I'm going to talk about uh, Amnesia, first of all. Um, I am really tired of doing Amnesia. And while it does reasonably well in views, um, I'm going to pass on doing any more for a while. I need a bit of a break from it. Whether that means I'll come back to doing some mods in like a month or so, or whether it means I wait for Machine for Pigs to come out, which I will be let's playing for the millionth time. Um, you know, uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, a bunch of you have also been asking me what I uh, what I thought about E3 for the year. Um, so I'll give you a quick rundown. Well, I say quick, I'll give you a rundown of my thoughts. Um, I was pretty disappointed, but then I've been disappointed for years with the way the gaming industry is going, so that wasn't a particular surprise to me. Um, in terms of games that I'm looking forward to that were showcased at E3, um, I'm looking forward to Dishonored, which is out sort of October time, I believe. Um, I'm looking forward to the new Tomb Raider next year, although I was really disappointed that Thief 4 still hasn't put in an appearance. I'm assuming that it's going to be Vaporware. It was announced like two years ago and there's been nothing. And it's a real shame because Thief is probably my favourite game series as a whole. And um, yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything about it at all. So yeah, um, but still, I like Tomb Raider as well. And the reboot looks like it's gritty and interesting and stuff. Um, what else did I like the look of? <clears throat> Much as I didn't like Brotherhood or Revelations, Assassin's Creed 3 looks reasonably interesting. Something a little bit different. I might, I might look into playing that when it comes out. Um... I wasn't that enamoured by the Wii U and I was quite saddened by the fact that that the only game that had like a trailer that gripped me which was Zombie U uh, is only on the Wii U but obviously with the name Zombie U it's going to be on the fucking Wii U isn't it so I shouldn't be that surprised um, there was the usual fucking Microsoft fucking conference was the biggest load of shit ever oh god Kinect isn't it wonderful 
no, it's not. It's a pile of horse manure, and uh, no one should ever buy one, in my opinion. Um, so this uh, the motion control bollocks. It just doesn't doesn't appeal to me at all. Um, I realise it's like a way that casual games are going and stuff because people are like, "Whoa, I can actually do things while I'm playing games, and I won't appear to be a geek and things like that." But still, um, you know, uh, I'm just really anti movement controls. The only game I've really found was okay with movement controls was air extraction on the Wii. Um, but other than that, in general, I'd say movement controls shit. Um, I quite like the look of the new Super South Park game just because it's an RPG and just because it's being done by Obsidian, who I quite like. Um, they haven't got the best track record ever, but um, yeah, um, yeah, it looks alright. That's all I can say really for that. I was trying to think what I also favorited. While I would have preferred news of Doom 4, the Doom 3 remake with extra levels and stuff looks reasonably good, and I shall be let's playing that once it is released. I think that's like in September. I will probably do some footage of Dark Souls, uh, the PC version when it comes out as well, but not like a let's play, just like various fights and shit like that, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. Dawn Guard looks awesome. Um... The Elder Scrolls is probably one of the few franchises I feel that hasn't deteriorated dramatically over the years. Um, what else? I'm trying to look through the things that I favourited at the time. But to be fair, that that was pretty much it in terms of things. I mean, I'm looking forward to Metro Last Light, but that's still quite a long way away. You know, The Last of Us looks amazing. Shame it's only on PS3 because I won't buy a PS3 just to play The Last of Us. So, yeah. Um... It still looks amazing though. I'll get, it looked uh, the, the uh, footage of the game, if you haven't checked it out, it was absolutely amazing. So, yeah, The Last of Us does look very good. Um, I, um, what else? Um, oh yeah, um, I don't think I wanted to touch on, especially regarding upcoming games that were coming out this year. Um, I uh, am looking more to the indie market really in terms of horror games because I think it's something that a lot of franchises have abandoned. I mean, Dead Space 3 is coming out, and it won't be as scary because it's a co-op shooter and stuff like that, but, you know, it'll probably be okay. And just a bit more action in the second one yet again. Second one was alright. First one was really good. But um, second one took away the horror edge to a certain degree for me. Um, but still, uh, it wasn't awful, and um, I will probably play Dead Space 3. Um, I'm bung the sleep. Uh, is an indie game coming out um, fairly shortly, I think. Probably, probably around October, I think. Where there's um, a little, you play a little girl whose house is um, attacked by the boogeyman uh, or something along those lines. There's lots of like paranormal activity shit going on and weird shapes in the window and stuff like that. And it looks pretty creepy. So that's something I will definitely be looking into for an LP as well as Asylum, the adventure game, and there's a bunch of other indie titles that have been linked to me recently that do look quite impressive. And I'm kind of wondering if I should shift my focus, apart from a few sort of like mainstream horror games, to the indie market, because I think that's really the place where it's at for scares. Um, obviously I'm still going to be doing other types of games as well. I'm kind of glad that my channel is now branching out into new stuff, but um... You know, obviously I still want to keep the scares coming in for you guys going, that's what you guys enjoy the most. As well as doing stuff for me like uh, Redemption, which I'm really enjoying playing. I love Redemption, it's just my sort of game in terms of the gameplay. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, but those are pretty much my thoughts on uh, that. E3 would have been a damn better if it had Thief or Doom 4. Um, you see, I... Something I want to touch on. A few of you were like flaming me the other day because I was like, "Oh, I bash some sequels." Like you know, like say like, I was I was bashing Assassin's Creed, I think, for example. And some of you were like, "Well, do you like other sequels?" Yeah, but those sequels don't come out every single fucking year. There's a difference. Uh, if a, a franchise that comes out every year to me is usually lazily made, and I'm glad that um, to a certain degree, Bioware have been stung with that with releasing. They tried to do Dragon Age like the next year, and that got bad reviews. Uh, as a fan reception, Dragon Age 2 did nowhere near as well as Dragon Age. Um, and same for Mass Effect 3 to a certain degree, you know, it's just not what people are like. Um, anyway, uh, I am going to... Um, my hand is just poking me now. Um, I am going to leave it here. 